Hey guys, I'm Sam. I'm Jody. Welcome back to our channel, Razor Focused, and we're so glad that you joined us today. Today we're going to do a unboxing of a what? Well, we have a Juka. Well, we'll see. Let's unbox it. You can yeah, explain it. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Hey guys, it's Jody here, and I was just coming to you to unbox this beautiful thing. It's kind of partially unboxed. We had to kind of inspect it a little bit to make sure that it was good to go and able to be accepted in the shipment. And this is a Joka hot water heater. We're going to use it for our church baptistry, but it, it's a portable unit that's propane fired. So you can use it outdoors, you could use it camping, you could use it four wheeling, you could use it on your razor, you could use it at a cabin, anywhere that you needed to have a hot water available and ready. Yes, it's designed for the outdoors, so we were trying to find a, for, our, for my church friends out there, uh, just looking for an inexpensive uh, outdoor baptistry heater. And what's that, Jody? Um, I assume this is the, the hose that connects the heat to the water, the hot water to the place you want. It has the adapters here and then the little covers, caps. Yeah, the caps to hook it possibly to the faucet. Or to just fill up your. Well, let's see what's reservoir. inside this box. I assume this is the connector, connecting connector for the propane tank. That looks like What's that, that belt. Hose? Yeah. And there's batteries in there. I don't know what that would be for. Mm -hmm. but. Well, it's probably the igniter. Those are look like legs. Yeah, this looks like the leg. Cool. I don't know. It's really cool. It's really small. It's really light. Wow, and, and I'm not super strong. Right yeah, now. let's see. And I think it has to sit on the feet because there's nozzles down on the bottom, so I don't want to. Yes, is there anything else in the box? I think that box out of the way up there. I don't know. Okay, don't don't, don't like, like don't let go of that. We don't want it yeah. to fall. Let's see if there's anything else in the box here. Let's check. Looks like an info. Oh, there's something here on this side. Oh, okay, yeah. So, so is there anything else in that box? We're going to this big old box out of the way. I think it's empty. It's a good box. We don't, I'm not sure exactly how it got uh, open there, but... Yeah, it got kind of tore open in the shipping, so, so we what's in this little that. section here? This looks like a, a release valve nozzle. Yeah, that's the on-off switch. Yeah. And, that and looks then like a sprayer. Shower head. And then some kind of holders and then the, the gasket for the oh, connecting. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. This well, let's just get rid of this here real quick. Okay. And let's keep opening stuff. Woohoo! It's like Christmas. What's that say? This is a Juka again. It's the, um, I assume it's the faucet attachment. Yes, that's the faucet attachment. Does it come with extra hoses or that probably I don't know. you have to see. use? Uh, we may have to get a knife here. Uh, I think I got it. Knife. Now, the cool thing about this kit is you can get it as a full complete kit with a sink and everything. We did it partially in different ways just because what we were going to do with it. But look, it looks really cool. You can hook the faucet and again that was the the shut off and then it has the faucet or it has the shower head. It has, could you do two things at once? Is that what that's for? Uh, that why? If you get a splitter, we did not get a I splitter. It, oh, it has a splitter. splitter. It had one right cool. here. So yeah, you can do you can run one to the faucet and one to the shower head. That is so cool. That's very And there's cool. even two hoses here. Well cool. We're gonna take a look at that. Yeah. So go ahead and take that stuff out. Again another another on-off valve for a handle. Another wow. Ooh, those are magnetic. <laughs> well we know they're magnetic. I did not know that. We know that now. And here's the faucet. Very cool. And, and more hoses. More hoses. And to kind of give you an idea of cost-wise, the hot water heater kit, which was like $299 and then another $70 for the faucet. So $370. They yeah. do have the complete kit, which is all this plus a sink and a pump. So you can throw a, a tube into a river and it'll suck out water and go that way. And it's like five nineteen, and it's a really good deal. But again, for what we're doing with it, we're using this is the hot tap. It's got the uh, hot water temperature. It's got the water pressure. 
and a digital readout of how. And that's probably what the batteries are for, Jody. Yep. I bet so. That looks yep, about right. That was a battery igniter. And then gas input, water input, water. Let's see water. what that says. This is water out, water in. So. Okay. So let's, uh, <laughs> bless you. Sorry. <laughs> a steam there. I think that was a sneeze. Yeah. Excuse <laughs> me. Sorry. Allergies. And then uh, what do we have in this box here? I'm not sure. It says it's a quick release bracket. Oh, uh, yes. This is the bracket so we can put it like on a wall if we wanted to. Oh, okay. So, like, this could eventually, this could go in a cabin. Out, outside of a cabin. It's not because for, it's propane lit, you wouldn't not, want to be inside. It's not for indoor use, it's for outdoor use. And that's like a, you put that on a wall, put that on the side of your trailer, your RV, your pickup truck, your... You know, especially you know, for what we do, like with Razor, you could put that outside your trailer and do a quick rinse off before you go home. You could. Would be kind of cool, but uh, we're using cool. it again for a baptistry, and we're going to demonstrate how we're going to use that here on the next video. But let's see how the legs go on. Yes. So it looks like. I don't know if they're going to snap. It looks like. Or. Look, why don't you go ahead and peel that plastic off? I know you love to do that. Yes, I do. Actually, I don't. It makes me nervous. Alright. So, the legs... Okay, so the legs... Looks like they go that way. Yeah. Here, let's come in. Oh yeah, there's the three holes. Let's come in this way. The, yeah. There you they go. They just come in and here and then you just there. tighten it. And some of you might be asking, where are we? Well, we are in our home, and this is also where we have our house church. Yeah. We have been a pastor for almost 20 years, and we just started a house plant church in our home. And we have a, a large group of people meet in our home, and we get comfortable, and we worship God in, in our home. So you are welcome to check us out at reallifefellowship.ch. We'd love for you guys to join us. Also, I'm going to put the YouTube link. We are working on, uh, we need at least 50 people to subscribe to that channel. We're already on Facebook. We're already online. But for us to, uh, to share online, we have to have at least 50 subscribers. So uh, help us out by subscribing to our channel. I pray that you'll be blessed by it as well. But uh, we'll put that link in the description as well. So subscribe to this channel, of course, and subscribe to our church channel so we can continue to share the love of Christ in a real way. And we're just real people serving a real God in a real world. You see that all over our Razor channel. It is who we are, and that's what we do. So, all right, going back to those legs, now stand now up. Now I think it'll stand up, and it won't hit anything, and it'll have room for the hoses to bend. We'll stand it up. I'm going to. And that's the plan. Oh, that's cool. That's really cute. It looks like a little robot. That's really cool. So we'll just get the batteries in there and yep. uh, we'll test it out uh, here outside. Put, one of the, put the shower head on there. Push. I don't know. Push. It's just friction fit? There you no. go. It's a snap fit. It's quick release. Nice. And then that shower head should tilt. Okay, look at the hand. It'll only tilt one way. Yeah. Here, let's see that. There it goes. There we go. I didn't want to muscle <laughs> it because I have been known to break things before. Just a few. So then, see, then you could use your magnetic mount. It probably goes on the blue handle part. The blue handle part where your hand's at. I don't know. That makes it very tight. That's what I'm saying. Okay, let's I see here. I don't think it does. I think it does. I think it goes. I think, uh, let's see if, hold the, hold the shower head. Okay. Hold the shower head. See? Okay, let's turn the button toward you now. So like if you were taking a shower. Okay. okay. Hold the clip. And I bet you it goes like that real tight. Ta-da! <laughs> I know you guys aren't sarcastic like we are, but we, we, we laugh at each other. It's fun. And see, then you can magnetize that anywhere. And you have a shower. And the hose. Well, uh, obviously, uh, we're not going to unwind that right now, but that would go there. And the other end would go... Up on the fit. Down on this fitting that says hot. <laughs> yes. Just like you, babe. Ha.
And then let's put the uh, faucet one now. And I don't hot, know how to take them out. Okay, just, just let's see here. There you there, go. There, I got it. And again, the hot tap comes with the hot tap kit comes with a shower. And since we're using it for a baptistry, we thought we'd you get a faucet kit so the water would run a little better. And there it is. The cool thing is the way the hot tap works is it doesn't turn on until water flows. So water has to be flowing in before it turns on. Before to it heat. even turns on to heat. And it heats all inside here? It heats all inside there. That is so and cool. And it's an instant, it's called a tankless water heater. But very, very cool. I, I like it so far. Let's uh let's move outside and we'll test it. Yay! Hey guys! Okay, we're gonna try and put the batteries in here. <clears throat> Looking at this, you might think you unscrew these, but you don't. You just push it and it comes out. Very cool. Put in your batteries. It does have a picture of how they go, positive, negative. I always just look for the spring and then do the other one the opposite way. It is keyed, so you wanna make sure you do it the correct way and it should only fit the one way. And again, you just push it all the way in and it locks tight. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right guys, welcome back here. Uh, now we're gonna do an outdoor test. Uh, so this is the Julka hot tap. This is our baptistry. And so we're using it for a baptistry, but again, you could use this. Uh, this is really a, it's designed for camping outdoors. Uh, we're gonna use uh, a water source, which is our water faucet. And we've already put the quick release on there. We've already connected up our propane tank, uh, just like a barbecue grill. And we're gonna put the connections in on the front. And here is the water line for the feed to the, the faucet. So we're gonna start with the faucet. We'll demonstrate the shower one too. But we're just gonna connect here. Pops in like we demonstrated earlier. This is magnetic, so really cool. We're gonna just put it right up here for right now. We'll uh, see if we can straighten it up a little bit with the hose. Uh, it's not, there's no flat piece on the uh, the stock tank, but everything is just quick release. So let's just tilt this over a little bit and we'll give this a try. We haven't turned it on yet. So let's see how this works. So everything is quick release. And again, it told you where to put it. So cold water, we're going to keep these little caps just for storage. Pops right in, pops right in. And we're doing everything in the front so you can see there. And again, it comes with a quick release with a propane. Pops right in. Got my little minion there. And again, you know, we're using it for a baptistry, but you could use this outdoors. Uh, you know, we're a razor channel, outdoor channel. It, they sell a pump that, that that's a 12 volt pump that you can throw into a river or a lake and get water out of it. So very very cool. Uh, we're going to turn on the propane. We got that turned on. We're going to turn on the water and see what happens. So let's turn the water on. All right, everyone. We have everything hooked up. You can see I had a little water leak. Uh, this quick release I did not have tight correctly. So let's uh, take a look and see uh, how this thing works. So I should. This is your temperature so I'm gonna go all the way up and this is your water volume so I'm gonna go all the way up just to see here and we have the faucet connected this is the shower attachment and it does give you a direction of the water flow so make sure you have that correctly and so that's the shower head there we're just gonna leave that here for now we'll kind of compare the two but right now we have the, the faucet attachment and everything's turned on it's just a matter of now turning on the water it ignited and it should be uh, giving us some it's already warming up quite a bit so very cool and again we're using this for a baptistry you could use it for a uh, shower on a your outdoor adventure your camping come to the stand now they do make the full kit. I probably should have got the full kit. Uh, exhaust coming out the top here. Definitely getting warm. So uh, you can see why that needs to be an outdoor, outdoor thing here. 
And we're going to turn the... So right now I'll say it's just warm water. Let's turn it to middle. Let's see, uh, and I'll get a temperature probe here in a second. I just kind of want to see how that feels. It's definitely feeling warmer. So if I slow the water down... Yeah, that's definitely hotter if I slow the water down. But the pressure still seems good. So we're going to use it on a, like I said, the portable baptistry. Uh, that would be a very, very comfortable shower. It's not scalding. I can turn it down, I'm sure. Let's just turn it down here. So I slow the water going through the system. Yeah, that, that's definitely hot. I can't keep my hand under it. So let's get a temperature probe here and we'll see what it says. And you can see the temperature rising pretty quick. 98, 99, we're over 100 already. Let's see what uh, is coming out of the faucet here. Yeah, you can see at the faucet already, I'm at 104 degrees, 105. So definitely a nice warm shower. But you can see the, the faucet is uh, really cool as well as let's uh, put the shower head on there. And we're just going to turn it on right here. And you heard the igniter turn on there. And you can see there is plenty of shower pressure. Now I'm using a water hose. I'm not using uh, the 12 volt pump. I don't have that. We're going to use a recirculating pump. Just a sump pump to recirculate this baptistry to keep it warm. So that is definitely a an awesome, awesome little thing. So, very cool. Julka, I can't wait to utilize this and see how that works. So, so far, so, so cool. I really like it so far. It's going to be really neat for this uh, baptistry. And again, if you're an outdoorsman, uh, this is going to be super, super handy. If you're into camping, uh, you could use this anywhere. We're going to use it, like I said, for a baptistry. We're going to let that fill up and see how it uh, continues. You should get about 15 hours out of a 20 gallon propane tank, they say. I wanted to show you something really cool on the shower. This is also on the faucet. Is this little uh, loop here. You can use a bungee, a, a string, and hang it from a tree, a, tie it to a stick, whatever, so you can have shower or faucet wherever you're at. So you don't have to hold it. You can just kind of hang it using a bungee or something. So very cool. So far, this is a really neat little device. Uh, I think it's going to be very handy, especially for what we're doing. And with that, again, I want to remind you, go to our YouTube channel. Uh, we'll put the link on there to, so we can continue to share the message of God's love to everyone. Uh, we're going to do it here. We're building this channel. Uh, and we've got a really cool surprise coming when we hit 1,000 subscribers. We're close. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're going to give something away that we've used already. So we're excited about that. And... Uh, so make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and make sure you like and subscribe our Real Life Fellowship channel as well. All right, so, so far so good. I really enjoy that thing. I think it's gonna be really awesome. I think it's gonna work for what we're doing. And that's for a uh, baptistry heater. They run about $2.99. So uh, anyone who needs a instant hot water heater, tankless hot water heater, they run $2.99 for what we're doing. That's great. From our perspective, a baptistry heater recirculating electric was like, $800 and that's a lot of money so this is an alternative uh, I think it's gonna work good for us lots of uses I could see uh, out on the out on the trail out camping uh, we have a homeless ministry I could see us using this as well making a portable sink really gonna be awesome and I think it's a, a good product so far just from this quick little test what I did learn is the input water has to be 68 degrees or lower or it cuts off so uh, it's a protection for the unit. So that's that's cool. That should work just fine. Hey guys, hope you liked that review uh, for the Julka hot water heater. I think it's going to work, Jody. I like it. But I think it's pretty cool. There's uh, Obviously, we're using it for a baptistry. So again, I want to say go to our Real Life Fellowship channel and like. We uh, are trying to build that channel. We have to get over 50 so we can start doing our live streams. We already do live stream on Facebook. We already do live streams on our website. And you can check that out too, but it's a great way for you guys to be involved in sharing the message of God's love. So please go out and like that and subscribe to it. And make sure you like and subscribe to this channel as well. And uh, what else? I, I'm excited to use it. I think it's, it's really versatile. I'm excited we're going to use it for a baptistry, but I think 
in other areas and other things, you could use it almost anywhere. Yeah, I could definitely see the uses for it. So thanks again for joining us. I pray that you have a blessed and amazing every day. Stay razor focused.